This video features exercises on partial derivatives so that you can work through some numbers yourself and strengthen your comprehension of the concept. All right, so I've got three exercises for you. Let's say for exercise one, we take into consideration a point where x is equal to three and y is equal to zero. Then for that point, use pencil and paper or a whiteboard or whatever you have available to you to calculate the value of z. This is using the function that we've used throughout this notebook so far, which is z equals x squared minus y squared. So find the value of z, and then also find the value of the slope of z with respect to x, as well as the slope of z with respect to y. And so do that not only for this point here, where x is equal to three and y is equal to zero, but also for the second and third points. Nice, so this would be a good time to pause the video because I'm about to go over the solutions. Okay, so where x is equal to three and y is equal to zero, our core function, our multivariate function gives us a z value of nine. The slope of z with respect to x is six and the slope of z with respect to y is zero. And I've added this point where x is equal to three and y is equal to zero onto a chart that we created earlier in the slides. And we can see that at that point, z is equal to nine and our slope is steeper than ever. It's equal to six. For exercise two, z is equal to negative five, where x is equal to two and y is equal to three. Our slope of z with respect to x is four and our slope of z with respect to y is negative six. Again, like we had in the code, I've created a new chart here with that extra point that we just calculated here. So this is where y is equal to three, x is equal to two, that just corresponds to the particular slice that we're looking at of the curve here. And we can see that at that point, z is equal to negative five. And we have a slope here of negative six. Finally, for exercise three, where x is equal to negative two and y is equal to negative three, we have a z of negative five. Del z del x is negative four, and the slope of z with respect to y is six. Determining partial derivatives by hand using rules like we did just now is helpful for understanding how calculus works. In practice, however, automatic differentiation enables us to do so quickly and more easily, especially if there are a large number of variables. So we'll tackle that in the next video. I should mention that if you'd happen to like a more detailed walkthrough of the solutions to all the exercises in this video, you can check out my Udemy course called Machine Learning and Data Science Foundations.